Hi folks, a few weeks ago I posted a video of this eight wheel drive, eight wheel steer truck uh, driving at the state park near my home. And that was my first video ever. And it got quite a few views, even though I didn't really know what I was doing. So I thought maybe there would be some people who were interested in seeing what's inside this thing that makes it go. That's what we're gonna cover today. So this whole project started because of this axle. It's a pass-through axle that can send power to the axle behind it and also steer. And I looked and looked for this axle to be for sale because I wanted one and I couldn't find one for a WPL based project. So I built one with parts from very, uh, a steer axle in combination with parts from a rear axle or differential. And uh, once I got it to work, obviously you have to, to build some with it, right? So um, I decided to build this eight by eight truck. The um, motors on this truck are genuine WPL motors. They're 370 motors with what they call the a counter rotating gearbox that they advertise as being for a C74 truck. This one obviously powers the rear. This powers the front. You can see down here there's another drive shaft that could power the rear or excuse me, an output. This could power the front or said differently, I could have done this with one motor. They probably would have been powerful enough. I have no idea. I just wanted to see if I could build something with two motors. Sometimes you just got to do stuff to see if you can do stuff. Um, buried down in here is a Hobby Wing 880 Quick Run ESC that the Hobby Wing 880 can power two motors separately. And uh, it's powered by a Dumbo RC six channel transmitter. And down in here, maybe you can see, yeah, right there in the center. There we go. You can see the green light showing us the, the Dumbo receiver down in there. And right here is the switch for the winch. I originally bought the, the winch just for looks, but since it was operational, I put a toggle switch on it so it could operate even though I, I didn't want to do the extra work of having it operate remotely since I really just wanted it on there for looks. Anyway, all of the axles have a servo on axle mounting so that the um, body can come off easily well it's not real easy with uh, six you know with all eight axles being on there I didn't want four servos mounted into a body somehow All of these uh, drive shafts are WPL correct length drive shafts, just upgraded to metal. All of the, the links that make the suspension and steering work are for WPL upgrades for WPL trucks. It's got a decent amount of suspension for something this long that sits this low with wheels this small. It's not a serious crawler, but it gets around okay. So here, here it is running.
I have the rear steering on my channel four. It's not the smoothest way to do it. I could have put it up here on channel five so it would be nice and smooth with a dial, but that kept me from being able to run it one handed. So in the video where I ran this truck, I have all of these items on the roof rack held down neatly with this net. And the reason I did that is because I had a very limited space on where to put a battery. So I actually run the battery up here on the roof. I have a battery that I've painted black, plug it in, it's a 2S battery. Then I bury it with my little supplies and put the net on it. And the battery just ends up looking like another piece of luggage. Here on the front, you can see the winch and a aftermarket bumper. That bumper was advertised as being for an MN truck, a D90, a D91. Uh, they had a whole list of trucks, actually, that it was for. And uh, it was just luck. But you can see the length on this bumper here. It fits perfectly on this truck. I mean, almost like it was made for the truck. The brackets that came with it to hold it on, I didn't use to hold it on but I used them to make the brackets to hold the winch on. So that kind of worked out well. Uh, these lights are just aftermarket lights. If you look in there, you can see a servo mounted to the axle. The tires are um, Enjora tires. They just call them Enjora monster truck tires. I believe they are 70 millimeter tires. The truck itself is made by a company called Big Daddy, and it's a good base truck for a WPL-based project. I've made two trucks out of these so far. It has reasonable details on it. Uh, some, of the, some of this I've, I've painted um, to add more detail. It has opening doors, which is always kind of cool. This bed, this ended up being too short of a truck for the frame. So I, ex when I took the toy gun off the back, there was a big hole in the middle. Plus I needed some extra length. So I put a piece of plexiglass on here. And this material is uh, stuff that you stick on steps so that the steps have traction. It's a tape. The idea there was to mimic a uh, bed liner. This little fake fuel tank and this stuff here to cover the motors I chopped off of the original truck. And there you can kind of get a, a look at the suspension. It flexes pretty good. Maybe too good. So this little chassis right here with two wheels in the back, one wheel in the front, and a, a friction, I guess like a flywheel type motor. Th this is what was originally on the truck. And uh, so a little kid could push it, give it a couple of pushes and get that motor wound up and it would go across the floor. So that's it for today on the WPL based Big Daddy eight wheel drive, eight wheel steer truck. I appreciate you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or got anything positive out of it, please consider uh, hitting the like button, subscribing, leave a comment or a question or suggestion. I'm going to put a small clip here on the end of the truck driving. I put a link in the description of the, the full video of the truck driving, the original video I made. It's a short video. Check it out. You might like it a little bit. Thank you. Have a good day.